goes back to the 06, I'm going to show you how to do let's go. I actually just finished it, like, I was in the middle of doing the exact same thing. I clicked F10 thinking that it was pause, and then it stopped it, and I was just like, what? So I'm doing this all over again. Alright, so if you have Lightscribe, here's how you check if you have Lightscribe. Just type in Lightscribe on here. And if you have Lightscribe control panel, is what it looks like. And that means um, you're able to do Lightscribe. Um, you have to, you have to have you also have to buy um, special white scribe discs um, at Walmart or Best Buy or wh wherever you want. Oh. Um, I bought mine at Walmart and it's actually pretty expensive for DVDs, it's like fifteen dollars for DVDs, and I only got twenty of them. And I thought that was pretty expensive, but. I haven't really bought any regular DVDs. Ours that my dad do that, so like, whatever. Um, CDs are cheaper, but not that cheap for regular CDs. But anyway, sorry. But after you check that you have Lightscribe Control Panel, then you read on how it works. Um, sorry, that's from last time. Like how it works, laser inside the CD, DVD, drive, yeah. And if you don't have it but you really want to do it, you can buy just a, a disc thingy. That's what it's called. It's like a different, like you just connect it to your computer if you actually want to do that, but it's like 100 or $200 to do that. But if you have a Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you probably have it built in your computer. Well, anyway, after you read how it works and you understand it all, um, download Lightscribe template um, labeler. Yeah. And to do that, go back to this. Go to create. Oh, by the way, all the links will be in the description. Go to designs. Oops. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to downloads. I'll click Windows, Mac, or Linux, whatever you have. I have Windows, so I have to click Windows. And then you click the first one. So that's my mom, and I really don't like them talking while I'm doing a tutorial. But, like, after you install it and you don't like any of the designs, just go back here, go to Create, and go to Design Center. And then you can download a whole bunch of packs. Like, I, I always get mine from Creative Concepts, like kicking it. And it shows you all of them, then you just click whatever. Windows, yeah. Alright. After you downloaded it and make and you know and you have discs and stuff, here is how you actually do the thing. It's really basic. Wait, before I do that I'm gonna show you the actual picture. I just I um have a disc and that I did and um took a picture. Um, with my webcam thingy. Um, let's grab disk. There it is. I just paused it, but this is actually where I accidentally pressed um, F10. But here's basically how it looks. I just took this picture. It's really blurry, but it says it's backwards. But like, you can do that. This is like one of my favorite ones. It's really cool. Here's how I do that. I'm going to do the same one. And I'm just going to do. Um, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Never mind. Example. Yeah, example. And highlight it to change the font. Um, I'll just do that one. And it's on bold. Don't want bold. And come here. And whatever. You can also make your own kind of come here, click uh, image. I did something with my friend. Um, hold on, never mind. Like you can just click that one and look at that. It probably take a while to preview. Like you can preview it. 
and it says it's going to take 22 minutes. And yeah. That's how you do it. You wait that however many minutes, and then it says, then it opens up automatically when you're done. Um, I don't think there's any more to it. You know, if you don't like this tutorial, if you think it's too long or anything, tell me. Um, I'll remake it because I don't think this is a really good one. Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching YouTube.